Hey guys, I'm back. In the last part, we locked Wang Zhang's level 10 weapon. And now, we're gonna go lock Zhao Yuan's level 10 weapon. But keep in mind that this will be done in Legend Mode. So we cannot combine Dynasty Warriors 4 and Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends. Otherwise, we have to go to free mode, play the battle mount thing June, and get it that way. But uh, with that being said, let's get to it. Since we are getting Zhao Yuan's level 10 weapon in Legend Mode, we have to go to his Legend Stage. So there we go, and I'll show the 4th Maw like always. Alright, here we go. So, we already know the narration, so let's skip that, the special rules, no bodyguards, that's fine. The equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the power rod at level 9. The items, I'm gonna leave it like this. I can't have any bodyguards, so move on. The objectives, all I have to do is either defend the main camp for a set period of time or defeat Huang Zhang to win. If I die or if Zhang He gets killed, we lose. Also, once again, if you actually run out of time here, we win. Anyways, the unit info. For the Wei Forces, you have Zhao Yuan, which is me, and that's it for now. For the Shu forces, as you can see, there is nobody here when it comes to enemy generals, but there will be soon enough, I assure you that. Anyways, let's do it. So, getting the level 10 weapon is kind of straightforward. How could I allow Mount Tian Dang to be taken? I suppose if you fight long enough, something like this will happen. Huang Zhong has deployed troops at the summit. All right. I have to go. Treat those injuries. Ah, General. How beautiful. My exquisite formation shall protect the main camp. All right, so in order to get Zhao Yuan's level 10 weapon here, all you have to do is get 400 KOs before Zhao Dune appears. Pretty straightforward, but um, the only real thing you have to worry about, if anything, is allowing the enemy troops past you and go straight for Zhang He. Um, pretty much pulling a Dynasty Warrior 7 up on you. But um, once Zhao Dune actually appears, you should be fine in that department. But um, there are a lot of battle axes and battle armors in this stage. So you should be fine when it comes to uh, keeping the troops at bay and not really pass you. Unless they just pull Dynasty Warriors 7 on you. And uh, pretty much when, when I always make that reference, if anyone that has played Dynasty Warriors 7, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Pretty much they will ignore you and go straight for the objective at hand. It doesn't matter what you try to do. If you try to chase them, do whatever, they will strictly go straight for that objective. Actually, believe it or not, that actually started in Dynasty Warriors 6. Because I remember uh, the battle with Chung Ban when I was trying to stop Jung Fei from even getting to the bridge under when I'm playing under the Wei Forces. And uh, every time I tried that, he just somersaulted out of the way and went straight for the bridge. So you could say Dynasty Warriors 6, but I think the reference that I know of really is Dynasty Warriors 7. Because it's a lot more often than you think. Yeah, sorry for the non-talking or quietness for a bit. I just had to make sure I didn't allow troops past me over there. I think I should be fine without my horse. I'm pretty much at the halfway point. I 
I'm not going to try to push all the way through. Just enough where I know troops will come out of that gate over there. Because if I secure that gate, that gate will automatically be... Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? I'm, I'm, I just lost my train of thought when it comes to that particular word. But a gate captain automatically will reappear even if I secure that gate. So... I'm not going to worry about it. Alright. We're pretty much in a good spot right now. I still have another 90 something more KOs. It seems like troops are ready to make, make a run for it. Also, if you really need to, those crates coming up on top of the mountain there, they all contain Imperial Seals. So if you need to use them, they'll help. And remember, you need the 400 KOs by the time that Jaho Dune appears. You should be good for the time being. I mean, where I'm at right now, I should be fine. Um, looks like the troops were starting to make a run for it. And I wasn't having any of that. I really want to try to not allow any troops to pass until Jaho Dune actually uh, appears. And I could just go straight for Wang Chong. Or I could just milk out the time. But anyways, as you saw, I got the weapon there. Now all I have to really do is complete the stage. So either milk out the time, or wait for Wang Zhang to appear, and then I'll be set. And as you saw, it seemed like more troops were starting to make a run for the gate. If you actually catch up to them, or if they start to go, and you're... It, they manage to uh, break a certain barrier, they will really make a run for it. So you need to make sure you're still in the attacking range, so to speak, if you want to call it that. Um, by the time that they're about to book it, like you see there. But fortunately for me, I have my horse ready right there. And it does take a while for them to actually... make it past those gates, so that's why I make the push to a certain extent, but not all the way through. But it seems like more troops are starting to go for it. Well, that's only one. I think Zhang He should be fine with one. Plus, I think the reinforcements will be fine. Sometimes if it's a retreating unit, so to speak, if I defeated the uh, main uh, head of that particular force or unit, then it won't be as bad. But as you can see, it doesn't seem like Zheng He hasn't really been taking a serious hit of it just yet, if that makes any sense. But once again, I'm not really truly worried about it. Zhao Dun should be appearing real soon. There he goes. Alright. Now I don't have to worry about uh, the gate because Jaho Dune is here. So now at this point, it's up to me where how I want to really go with this. It's either A, milk out the last two and a half minutes, which most likely I'm probably going to be doing. Um, or B, go for, uh, 
Zhu, uh, Zhu Wang, uh, Wang Zhang. But I think right now, I actually might have to just go for Wang Zhang. Because, um... Troops did bypass Zheng He. Actually, where's that Imperial Seal? Unless I get volleyballed to death. Yeah, that was pretty much a waste. I definitely needed a battle axe. That would have finished him off for sure. I mean, I still got a minute and change until the time actually runs out. So, like I said, it's up to me on how I want to do it. Unless he fucking obliterates me. Like that. I might just say fuck this and milk out the clock. Or just find health. I mean, there's not much time I have really left. That will help. Alright, he's down. And that's a win. Alright, that's another one down. So a KO count is 708. The only worthy opponent we had was Wang Zhang. Our clear time is 9 minutes and 15 seconds on the dot. Uh, the points, that's going to take a bit. So bear with me. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to matter anyways. Simply for the fact that the points are at max. So we have a total of 8,076 points. Once again, not that that matters because the points are at max. And uh, there's the weapon. The Enforcer Rod, level 10. Once again, if you're trying to figure out how to get the weapon here, all you have to do is get 400 KOs before Shaho Dune appears. And that's it. If you're trying to get in the original, you have to play the battle mounting June under South South forces, obviously. But uh, when you do, defeat Chen Shi before he reaches the main camp, which is easy but not so easy. His health is actually pretty low, but he's actually a lot closer to the camp. And then when you do that, go straight for Huang Zhang and defeat him before South Sao arrives. So that's how you get it there. Anyways the grade we got an A I believe that's actually the max amount of points on hard mode full save and there you have it you've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4 in some cases Extreme Legends but in this case it really is Extreme Legends and I'll see you in the next part where we'll go and unlock another level 10 weapon in legend mode obviously and the next level 10 weapon we'll be getting is Zhang Liao's so Peace out.